everyone. So my name is Bogdan and I'm one of the co-founders of Tenderly, which is a developer platform catering to blockchain developers. Now, before we start and I talk a bit uh, about the company and myself, uh, I would like to say thank you for the Harmony team and to, with including us to be prize partners for the TradFi to DeFi hackathon. Uh, as a company helping developers, our goal is to bridge this gap as much as we can and actually help developers bridge this gap as we enable those teams. So yeah, really happy to participate and be a prize partner here. Anywho, to talk a bit about Tenderly. So Tenderly is an end-to-end -end developer platform for people building on top of blockchain. So what does this actually mean? This means that uh, if you're building something on top of a blockchain that Tenderly supports, we want to enable you to have the best experience possible from the moment you get your idea and start coding it on your laptop all the way up to production. So when you deploy your contracts to the mainnet or whichever network you prefer to use. Uh, this means that you have uh, this huge suite of tools that helps you ship things easier, faster and more secure than before. So I'm more like of a show not tell person. So here I'm already sharing my Tenderly project. You can think of a project as a group of contracts. So we can see them here added. This is like a bunch of random things I've added here. So the first thing that you can see in Tenderly is the transaction screen, which is really great to get uh, a pulse of your product to see how it is working on chain. So for example, if I wanted to see which transactions failed in my, in my project, I could go here, click on failed, and once it loads up, I can see all of the failed transactions in my product and take a deep dive. Now, speaking on uh, about failed transactions, this is actually how Tenderly started working in the first place. So instead of waiting here to filter out thousands and thousands and thousands of transactions, I'm going to pick a contract I really like to use for testing things. So Kyber Network Proxy here, and I'm, only, I'm going to filter failed transactions for Kyber Network prox Proxy. So the first thing that we can see here, how Tenderly is useful is that we have stack traces. So what you would expect from a programming language being in Solidity in 2021, uh, you would expect an experience where if you go into the transactions and take a look at it, you will see where it exactly failed. Now, <clears throat> if we take a look here, we see it used up almost 3 million gas. So if you look at the overview transaction, did quite a bit of things. If we expand it completely, <laughs> you can see the scroll bar here will be really, really, really big. But if we go up here, we can see exactly where the transaction failed. What's even better, I can jump here into the debugger and see the whole execution trace, but I'm going to collapse it here and the stack trace. And then finally, all of the local variables, the gas, and if we go up, we can see even state variables, output variables and such. Now, if we go back and I'm going to filter out just Kyber Network Proxy and going to search for transactions transactions here. Let's do this one, for example. After it loads up, we again have the whole overview here. But in the debugger, for the contracts that we have the source code for, which we're pulling for Etherscan and similar block explorers, or you can add it to Tenderly, you have a full debugging experience. But not only that, we decode everything into human-readable format. So for example, here you can see human-readable events, human readables, um, state changes, and even we have this thing called the gas profiler where you can actually take a deep dive into your transaction and see what is using how much gas. This is just the debugging things. Here we also have a thing called the simulator. I can click resimulate here and I can change the parameters of this particular function or this particular transaction. Let's say for example it happened one block later. And when I click simulate, I can see what would happen if that changed. But this is even more powerful. I can take a transaction that never happened. So if I go to the simulator here and I can pick a contract, let's say, for example, die and do a transfer from. And I can use here, um, let's use the 0x0 zero zero address and say, for example, we're sending 200 watt here. And if I use simulate transaction with the pending block, I can see what would probably happen in the next block if we actually submit this particular transaction. Now, this being the 0x address, this succeeds. But if it would fail, we could actually see why it would fail before actually even submitting it. There's a bunch of other things about Tenderly you can see. So the simulator, you can use it via an API. We have a thing called forks. Forks are basically a way for you to simulate transactions on top of one another, so chain them together. 
We have also a really, really, really flexible alerting solution where there's a bunch of alert types that you can do, even calling a view function after every block and seeing if the uh, value changes to by a certain percentage thresholds and things like that. But what they asked you to do is reach out to us. You can go to tenderly.co to see all of the information around Tenderly or follow us on Twitter at Tenderly app. So do reach out. We want to help everyone participate in the hackathon. And yeah, good luck.